What up with it, y'all? It's Coffee. Back at it, man. And I was a bit behind on this situation as I just tapped into M. Dissing Benzino on his new track yesterday. And then at the same time, everyone's in the blogosphere mentioning proof. R.I.P. proof. We got to say that first and foremost. You know, Zeno crossed the line. And then I'm seeing this Zeno No Jumper interview where... It was like Zeno was basically saying he was past the beef with Eminem and at some point he liked to sit down with him and he attributed a lot of the outbursts and him going back in and mentioning Eminem and going on these emotional Benzino rants that we've become accustomed to over the years. As we know, if you just seen his uh, body cam footage, Zeno's an emotional dude, you know, a lot of cats is like that. We can all be a bit emotional, I'm sure, you know. But he was saying he attributed a lot of that to the stands, the obsessive Eminem fans. And we always got to differentiate the stands. Um, it's so crazy because Stan has become a hip hop cultural word. You could be a Jay-Z stand, a game stand, a whoever stand, you know. But when it comes to Eminem stands, it's like there's a lot of individuals that are very obsessive about Eminem that aren't even hip hop fans that don't care about hip hop, the music, the art form, the history, anything like that. And, you know, as I was pointing out in my video yesterday, uh, just ask as is about it, you know, tell him to show you some of the messages I, I've seen, you know, where a lot of these cats just say hateful, racist things and stuff like that. I mean, real foul, twisted stuff that, of course, Eminem would never want anyone saying period and definitely you know wouldn't want the stands uh to to harass mcs whether m's got beef with them or not in that type of way foul twisted things and eminem also had um in this video too i'll pin it below interesting stuff about 50 cent there may be something really cool in the works but nonetheless i'm seeing this oh Zeno pretty much kind of passed the beef which again we've seen before but wait eminem just dropped these new bars getting at him and his daughter this is crazy imagine the timing on that and then we get this today yo eminem should be called skittle sweet ass small candy ass eminem bitch ass feminine maddie like melanin all value turned up again oh shit here we go benzino versus jim crow you know what custody when i see one how many times you overdose cracker on crack who rap but Black in the show, invade our cultures, then insult us. Time you get exposed, little. This Mariah, Christina, Michael, and Brit. What kind of fuck go to war with people? In the singing, don't fuck with fit. Keep it a buck, you ain't tough. Your baby mother get a bag like how Cassie did pop. If they be generics in the court, like they did thug from the drugs, chopping the up, caught in the trunk, you a punk. My funeral, please. You shoot, who, you who? Square ain't even go circle the block. Proof. And the truth, my daughter had a life that I never had. I'm probably more about George than America's dad, but I provided food, clothes, gifts, kept y'all excited. Now you let the industry really lynch, keep us divided. But back when I died in and out of the court fighting, you was in pretty home with something foreign to ride in. Of course, he'll tell you hate your father. He but find his trailer park swine bitch. Shit, you're miserable when you're. And we think that they clone you look weird, don't care how much just for men they put on Never seen with a girl, never seen with a bitch Forgot a song with a foul day with join the Lucas, I'm done Fighting, you was in a pretty home with something foreign to ride in Of course he'll tell you hate your father, he could never find his Trailer park swine bitch, shit You're miserable when you're alone And we think that they clone you look weird, don't how much just for men they put on never i gotta say i think that me may be benzino's best diss response whatever you want to call it getting at eminem out of anything he ever put out now a lot of individuals are gonna question did he get a ghostwriter on that did that was that really benzino you know because i gotta say that ish was tough and then uh the beat of course from marcy son Come up along where I'm from, Marcy, son. Ain't nothing nice. That beat just goes so hard, and it's that it brings that grittiness to a diss track. But he called Eminem a cracker on crack. Uh, what do you say, Zeno versus Jim Crow? 
brought up Eminem dissing Mariah, Britney, Christina Aguilera. We also know he went at N- NSYNC and um, Backstreet Boys and all that. And I don't know, man. Eminem always seemed to have a method to the way he put out his music, right? That the, the first release off a project would be a very pop radio crossover song like my name is then on the next one the real slim shady right but on the album you will find all kinds of other dope tracks you know all different kinds of music on there but it always felt like on a lot of those first singles that were like pop radio songs he would make fun of people in pop culture dress up like Marilyn Manson Dress up like Britney Spears, throw the dress on. That's a whole nother story, as you heard Zeno 2 talk about a song, I'm gay with, uh, or what if I was gay, pause, with um, Joyner Lucas, you know? Um, but, yeah, like, why did them always go at all those pop artists and stuff? Basically, nowadays, we would call that trolling to get radio play and then put the other kind of music buried in the album, but... That's what you would get for the lead-off single. Um, An interesting uh, diss where he said, you know, Kim, your ex-wife, she could get a bag. Like, uh, did did he say Cassie did off Puff? Or, um, you know, if they read your lyrics in court. And I think, you know, you heard him talk about lacking melanin as well. Willie Lynch of hip-hop keeping individuals divided and things of that nature i know a lot of times individuals grow sick of those type of bars when it comes to getting at eminem but it was interesting for him to bring up with artists like young thug um you know being prosecuted in a sense for their lyrics their lyrics being mentioned in court um i don't know i like that hasn't happened to eminem right even dating back when uh he he pissed a whip that dude that was kissing his wife or whatever happened at the bar uh, but Eminem, you know, said you full of ish too. That was a fist that hit you. He mentioned that on, on um, you know, a track on Wax. And, you know, Eminem's uh, really wild lyrics, a lot of them. The Slim Shady Alter Ego, the horrorcore nature of the, the, the rhymes, right? Like, never brought up in court. No uh, Rico going at Eminem for his lyrics back on volume turned up or whatever um i don't know why he was saying anything though about you look weird um like come on zeno we all done seen all the memes of you having no neck and that dog that looks like benzino like he shouldn't have went there but all in all a pretty tough diss i gotta say again was it written by um benzino i don't know we'll have to wait and see but those uh bars about proof he, told, he called Eminem a square and he wouldn't circle the block for proof. A lot of fans felt that was crossing a line. Um, you know, was that in poor taste, in your opinion, to bring that up? Or was that a good diss, a clever diss? Was that disrespectful to the memory of proof? Comment below. Will Eminem respond? Um, I got a feeling probably not. You know what I'm saying? M, we know, isn't really active like that these days. Um, you know, back in the day, when he dissed Benzino, he was hopping on tracks and responding and everything like that. But um, M, you know, for a long time, he's almost semi-retired. And, you know, like, or we'll get a random drop like we just did with this lyrical Lemonade Doomsday to where he dissed Benzino, which, again, that was kind of wild. I don't know what made him bring Zeno back up. But a few years back, recall when um, he dissed uh, MGK and um, some other individuals on um, Kamikaze, right? MGK came with that rap devil and um, Eminem did respond. So maybe he will, we'll have to wait and see, but it's just pretty crazy the timing of all this. The No Jumper interview, Eminem dropping this uh, joint off the Lyrical Lemonade. Jump in and comment, let me know your thoughts on it all. And something else he mentioned about not knowing Eminem, not knowing his dad. I think he was calling his dad tra- Trailer Park Swine, I believe. Not positive, but uh, did you guys see this post? I can't read it. I don't know what language this is in, but I, I think it's saying this is Eminem's dad. Is this M's Pops? I don't know. Let me know if you know. But that's it for this one. The M Benzino beef. 
continues in 2024. For, I think the first diss between these two was 02. So 22 years later, this beef still going strong. That's crazy, man.